When you open up an incognito browser and go to youtube.com, you'll be met with a fresh homepage of videos. At this point, YouTube has no idea about your watch habits, so it recommends you the most tame and mainstream content possible. This content is what I call general content. General content is extremely popular and has mass appeal. It's also family friendly. The next type of content is what I call niche expert content. This type of content is geared towards super fans and people really interested in the nitty gritty of a niche. Think of a guide that makes specific tutorials on very complicated programming problems, or a guy that breaks down frame by frame a UFC fight. This niche expert content appeals to a very small number of people in the niche it's targeting. What you want to do is marry these two categories to come out with niche content with mainstream appeal. This is where the golden goose of your content lies. It's where you can make content that is interesting yet still appeals to a wide audience. The problem with overly mainstream content like trying to replicate a Mr. Beast video or making a video on $1 burgers versus $100 burgers is you'll be drowned out in terms of discoverability and the big brands doing that kind of content have a lot bigger budgets than you and could do it a lot better than you could. The problem with overly expert content is although you'll build a loyal fan base that fan base will be very small and you'll never break out into becoming a highly profitable channel. A niche content with mainstream appeal channel or NCMA doesn't have either of these problems. Let me give you an example. You can make long and drawn out programming tutorials that appeal to specific people or you can make a video like I made a game in one line of code. A completely normal person with limited interest in programming would still click that video. And so would a person specifically interested in the programming niche. It's the best of both worlds and it's where you should be looking to build content around. Another example is fighting channels. You can watch videos made by ex-fighters breaking down every aspect of a fight which appeals to super fans of fighting. Or you can make a video like this. Just looking at that title and thumbnail will entice both MMA fans and a regular person who has limited interest in MMA to click it. Because who wouldn't want to see this jacked up dude knock people out? So now the question is, how do you find this sweet spot where you're not being too general in a niche and not being too specific? The answer is to find the experts in your niche and see what kind of videos they're making and how you would do things differently to appeal to a wider audience. Let's take the niche of my channel for example, which is YouTube Finance, and how I attempt to funnel people from the mainstream into becoming fans of the niche. I'm not making videos on how to break down every part of your YouTube analytics data to increase your CTR by 1%. But I am making a video on how I made a $500,000 YouTube channel from my bedroom. Even if you have no interest in YouTube finance, you're going to be somewhat interested in clicking that video and it might make you get interested in becoming a content creator, which at that point I'll hit you up with a video like how to make content that makes money. The bigger your channel gets, the more of a mainstream appeal you can go for and bring even more people into your orbit. Joshua Mayo does this really well. His earlier content was very focused on things related solely to the stock market. He could have made that niche specific content forever, but as soon as he saw some growth, he ventured into related niches like side hustles, crypto, passive income, and YouTube growth. Instead of making more expert content on stocks, he kept making content on new, related niches that walked that perfect line of appealing to a mainstream audience while also appealing to nerds of the niche. The niche content with mainstream appeal is the golden area, and if your goal is to make content that makes money, it's where you should be aiming for every time.